Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. In today's episode, we're gonna try to finish up working on this valley. I'm tired of not having this valley done, all right? I'm really excited to start branching out over yonder because I think we're gonna start working on our first big project uh, in terms of building, of course, uh, this episode. And I'm very excited to start working on it. And I think we just got to jump into it. So we're gonna start working on this path right here and we're gonna do some terraforming too. And I have some ideas for like maybe a lake over here and stuff. We're kind of gonna break that down a bit into sections just so I don't overwhelm myself, but all right, let's get the work. And there is our path. I actually really like how it looks. I didn't really think it was going to look that good from like this angle, especially, but now that it's all laid out, it's actually quite nice kind of rolling through the valley there. You can kind of see it slowly go over there. And I think it stops right about there because that's where our uh, foundation is going to be for our city over there. Ooh, another, uh, another, another leak. Let's do a quick little run through on Giuseppe. But it's pretty nice. There's some nice little areas. Like I think this area we're going to make into a nice little lake. And then if we keep following along, there's some parts where the path skinnies out and then it kind of gets big again, which I kind of like. It's, it gives it some, uh, you know, some character, a little bit of shape too. We got a big old hole right here. We got to patch up or maybe we try doing something fancy with it. Maybe we try making like a mine shaft out of it or something cool to look at. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. And it comes over here and we have this little like the path that cuts through the mountain instead of going above the mountain just makes it smoother but also we could do some fun terrain with that and then ugh, another enderman block right there overall i'm pretty happy with the path i think we just need to start doing some terraforming and maybe some landscaping too i think landscaping is going to be our big thing and i think this valley could really use a few trees Nothing too crazy, but I do think there should be some spots for some trees. So we'll see what we can manage for some custom trees, and then maybe we can add a lake after. And here are our trees. I think these look so sick. They're pretty unique too. I didn't really base them off anything. I was kind of just going for a birch, you know, birch trunk and, you know, integrate that diorite and some of that calcite in there. And then I kind of went for like a bulb kind of leaf bunches. And then I would kind of shave off some of the corners and give it some, give it some roundness and a little bit of air in there too. And then I was looking at them from a distance and I was like, they look a little little boring with just the uh, the birch leaves so i decided to add in some of the azalea leaves for like highlights you know i've been seeing some people do that recently with their trees and it does add a lot of color to it and i think it looks really really cool especially from this angle up here oh these look so cool this is kind of the angle that i was working with uh when i was doing my references while building and yeah i think this angle looks super cool i'm obviously going to work on some of the other angles especially down on the path that's another important uh, framing I have to think of but I mean I think it looks pretty cool I think I might add a little bit more to this leaf right here now I'm looking at it from this area but overall I think this is looking really cool and there's more uh, trees that I want to make I want to kind of make this whole little little section here like a forest kind of but not it's not going to be thick it's gonna be pretty sparse you know and just have these trees lying around but the only issue is i have this many leaves left over i still have plenty of blocks but my leaves are a little low so i'll have to grind some more out but i kind of want to get moving because i can make these trees whenever so i think it's time for us to start filling in our lake i'm thinking for the lake bottom we might do some gravel because i did gra gather a bunch of gravel recently so i think we'll clear out the bottom of this lake and then we'll place down some gravel there'll be a nice like little gravel shoreline going all around and then we'll have our like lake going out and it'll kind of go out over there too real quick before we make our pond i just want to let you guys know that i will be streaming today if today is sunday may 26 2024 we'll be launching the members only minecraft server so if you guys want to hang out and chat and play some minecraft with me make sure to tune in today at 3 p.m pst or 6 p.m pst okay back to video
a nice little body of water always helps bring together like a little valley like this. I also really like how contrasting green and blue are. I think it always just, it always works out pretty well, you know? We just got a nice solid gravel. No, no, not the freaking grass. We got a nice little gravel base here going on and I wanted to add more details. Like I wanted to add some cattails because I think that would look kind of cool and maybe kind of match the theme we got going on here. The only issue is I don't have any green dye, like none. So I think we'll be addressing that a little bit later in this episode, but I think it's time for us to head on down this big old road and start putting up a little bit of a foundation over here. Now this foundation is gonna kind of lay out the, the border of our city and our city is gonna be like up, up on the ground, right? I think it's gonna be about, I think maybe this level right here where we're about right now. And it's gonna extend out there, kind of curve in, go back out. And then we'll kind of flatten out this whole area and make it a big stone pile. The only issue is I have a lot of stone, but I definitely don't have a lot of stone. Like I got a good amount of stone, don't get me wrong, but not enough stone. And the best way to gather a bunch of stone is uh, to get a beacon. And I have yet to kill a wither. So I think we should head over to our nether fortress and maybe grind out some wither skeleton skulls. And try to see if we can get enough for a biocon. We out here in the nether. All right, finding wither skeletons is probably going to be kind of annoying because these bros spawn all the time. Kind of dumb that regular skeletons spawn. Regular Joe Schmo skeletons. Yeah, we don't have an... I don't think we have a better nether fortress. Maybe we could fly and try to find a better one. Maybe we shall. We'll, we'll reset this one a few times. Hold on. All right, let's see what we get. Huh? Huh? Anyone? Hello? Anyone home? Dude. Uh, yeah, we're just going to find another, a different nether fortress. Oh! Oh, whoa! Wait. Yo, easy achievement. Wait, this one's sick. Oh my god, oh, my chest plate on. Oh, there's a bunch of guys over here, though. Oh, these guys behind me are about to snipe the F out of me. Wait, there's a bunch of wither skeletons over here. Come to papa. No skull. It's all right. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm taking some damage. I'm not going to lie. None. Well, there's actually, this is a great bone farm. I was running low on bones, but I'm just going to get a bunch, aren't I? Okay. Oh, there's a group over there. A big group. Okay. Kill. Okay. Wait, this is actually, oh, look at that. So I can just run down this and then run back and they'll just spawn again. Okay, we got a little system here. Come here, boys. Holy. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Holy. Oh, oh, this is dangerous. Hold on. Oh, this is so dangerous. Wow. Conveniently. Oh, oh, don't. Don't get. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. I need these guys. Try it again. Pickaxe, where's your pickaxe? Wait, you can. You can hit me up there. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Okay, but now how do I? Oh, crap. Oh, I just looked at my hearts. Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, my heart just dropped. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. Those stone swords be hitting. I got full prot. Oh. Oh, how many wither skeletons have I killed? Whoa, 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 whoa. 50 and none yet? Oh, let's go. We finally got one. Okay, one of three. Let's try this out again. Another one. Oh, we got our second skull. Also, chests. Oh, wait. That's kind of nuts. The rib armor trim. Oh, there's three guys up here. One of you has got to drop me my skull. There's one guy right there. Another butter right there. It's Ender Pearl up here. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Dang, I fell? I hit lava? Oh, it's kind of rude. All right, well, thank goodness for feather falling. All right, no more Ender Pearls. Come here. Oh, there's so many up there. Holy crap. Come on, brother. Oh, let's go. The last guy. All right, we have our skulls. Let's get the freak out of here. We actually, screenshot. All right, I just finished brewing up some potions and we got our skulls and our soul sand ready. I'm feeling a little devious. I'm not gonna lie. I think we should fight this wither 
on the surface, not like everyone else who fights him underground and is playing it all safe and everything. I think we gotta risk it for the biscuit. I also think it might be fun to fight him on the on the surface. I've never really done that before, so I'm not sure if all chaos will ensue or if I can manage it. But we're gonna fly out a good distance because I don't want this anywhere near my beautiful valley. Oh my god, look at those mountains. Wait, is there like a little valley inside there? That might be cool to fight him in there. Oh, this is sick. This is the battle dome. Okay, is there powdered snow anywhere? I'm not really seeing any. It's hard to see from the naked eye, but there's some right there and over here, but that's not too bad. It seems like this whole lower part of the valley is safe. Okay, let's do it. Let's freaking do this. No elytra because we're gonna get killed doing that. Oh my God, I'm actually so nervous. <laughs> Baby, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a notch apple and we got regular golden apples. We'll keep those on standby. Okay, now I feel a little bit better. I wanna make sure I survive this fight. <laughs> okay, let's freaking do this. Okay. What? <laughs> Anticlimatic. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> I might need to actually back up. Get these two ready. Okay, okay. Oh, I need my bow ready. Okay. Boom down, boom down. Keep moving. If we if we stay moving, if we stay, if we stay moving, he won't kill us. Okay, I need him to get on half health so I can melee him. I should be able to shred through him pretty quickly. Okay, I'm withered. Keep an eye on those hearts. Okay, he's melee, he's melee. I'm gonna go with the axe. Oh no, he's not melee. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay, we're taking some damage. I'm gonna eat an apple. Need the need the absorption, need the regen. We're going for it, we're going for it. Woo! The, the amount of snow I have. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Wait, that was pretty sick. I think this valley was pretty pretty neat for that and started snowing and started getting all dramatic. Ooh, I think that strength and regen was pretty clutch. Kept us up for a second, but I had to eat an apple. All right, throw out the snow. I don't need you. Woo! <laughs> Screenshot. We can save those coordinates for a future fight, maybe. If I'm gonna be farming any sort of uh, <laughs> uh, wither stars, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be probably doing them underground. Oh, this is our, wait, oh, we're right next to our base. So we wasted a bunch of rockets. That's cool. And we're back home. Home, sweet home. All right, we've crafted up our brand new beacon. I think we're gonna set it up near the mine shaft area. And I think we need a two stacks. And for some reason, the number 36 is, whoa, is adding up in my head. Wait, they're restocking. Free emeralds. I added these little slabs right here because like the experience was getting stuck back there. So now the experience can, can flow through right here, which I think is pretty cool. Pro tip. Oh, it's peak hours. Okay, no more distraction. Oh, wait. No, okay. In restock. All right, anyways, let's get this beacon down. I'm thinking it should be somewhere near like this corner here. Probably just a few blocks in here. We'll go like, honestly, like this can be where the, the thing is for it, right? Yeah, this is pretty good. We'll go right here. We need to dig straight up because it needs to have skylights. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm right on my mountain. All right, we have surface light, and now we can do dig straight down. Oh, this looks familiar. Uh-oh. I'm definitely about to dig straight into the ancient city, aren't I? Oh, we're good. All right, now in the most dangerous area in the whole world, let's make our beacon. Oh, look at that. That's the... I was right. Two stacks and 36. Remember that. That's how much you need for a full beacon. Boom. Yeah. Bring home the beacon. Wait, why did I get both? Oh, full power beacon and construct one. Cool. Okay. So let's, uh, let's power this baby. Let's do, actually, I have, wait, I have free iron. Let's do iron. Okay. We're going to do haste two. Nice. So now we have instant mine, right? Like I can instant mine stone. Oh, yes. Instead of painfully mining all this stone in this in my room here, I can actually. Oh, so freaking satisfying. All right, I'm going to get grinding on some stone and we'll work on our foundation. I made another tree and yes, I placed a bunch of stone. Wait, actually, I want to see what my stone count is. 
I've placed 18,715 blocks of stone and I'm not even done. <laughs> it doesn't look like much right now and it's pretty plain looking, but I definitely want to add some details to the outside of these walls, like some, some more structural stuff. Uh, but I want to kind of progress. I'm getting bored of placing stone and working on this lame wall or I guess this whole like foundation. But yeah, I filled up most of the top here. A lot of the stuff over here still needs to be filled up, but I'm not too worried about filling all this up yet because I'm not even going to be like back here yet. Uh, but I do want to start laying out some roads and like some ideas for roads. And I have some blocks in my inventory and a bunch of deep slate I've also mined, which I hate mining deep slates. I think we should start laying out some roads and I want to do it with you guys, but it's definitely going to take a second because uh, it's a lot of planning. <laughs> So the entrance to the city is probably going to be like a staircase kind of going up right here. Um, but I think I'm just going to plan out the road right here, kind of just lined up straight with our path down there. And we're going to use some regular like smooth deep slate, I guess you could call it. And this top texture is like so freaking nice. It looks it looks like a like asphalt, you know, like what roads are usually made out of. And if we place, you know, a decent amount down real quick in the middle of the road, we'll place down these little like divider lines to be like this, the middle of the road. Oh, that's not center. And then every so often, I think we'll just do like every two or maybe three, we'll do a little white in the middle. So then when you're looking at it from a distance, it looks like, uh, you know, like the little white lines in the middle of the road that usually like separate the two different lanes. So I think that would be really cool and kind of just doing that throughout the city. And then we can also add some texturing to the, uh, the road itself. If we place these sideways, it kind of just gives like a different texture, but very similar, just a little bit darker. So it could be used for like road streaks or just like a little bit of road damage or just you know just texture in general so i think that will look really cool but we gotta kind of plan out where these roads are going to go in the first place so we'll start right here and i think we'll just go out here also need to think that i'm going to probably terraform not even terraform i think i'm just going to tear down this whole like grass upper area here i want this whole area to be pretty flat with uh, the foundation here because it's going to be a city Right. It's not going to have a lot of like height variation because it's all going to be big towers. And a lot of these towers are probably going to end up being farms. And I'm hoping I can get to make one of them today because I need the supplies from it. But I'm not going to, I don't want to go into too much detail. So yeah, I think we're going to have this be our first turn. And we could probably have it come out here too. We'll have a little T junction. We'll bring this out as well. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have one of the roads be on the side of this jut out. Hi, Giuseppe. And kind of coming out to like over here and then maybe we could have like a little tiny park right here on the edge. I was kind of just thinking about that. And then we have like our buildings a little bit further back. Let's see what we can pull off there. Our road's going to be about five wide and I want like a two block gap here just so I could add some detail. You know, maybe, oh, rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. All right, I think we'll call that pretty good for now. It covers up most of the stone area that I've already planned out and placed all my platforms down for. I need to sleep. And I think now we can start placing our actual roads. Let's get started on that. All right, there's our roads and all looking fancy and everything. I like how they look oh, up close. It's a little jarring with this uh, pattern. So I might mess with that a little bit, but from a distance, like if we, we cheaty cam real quick, it looks really cool. But yeah, I think I need to either make those white sections a little bit smaller or make them a little bit uh, further spaced out, but I'm not too worried about that right now. I do just want to get the road in uh, so I can make our first building. Cause I really want to make like an actual building. I'm so tired of painfully placing stone and then a bunch of deep slate and I, it's just it's gotten very monotonous so i'm really excited to like actually make a building here now i have something to confess to you guys i've actually never have made city buildings before in minecraft I feel like that's like something that most people kind of start with maybe like some people either do like medieval and then like eventually they make like city buildings like you know it doesn't have to be perfect, but I've never made city buildings before. And this will be like my first time actually making a city building. So I'm kind of excited for it. I have a lot of inspiration. Now I'm thinking for the city building, um, it's going to be, you know how like when you're in the city, right? I've been to real cities before. Okay. So there's like the market stalls or like the little uh, hole in the wall shops that are like down lower and that, you know, it's a walk in. It could be a drugstore. It could be um, an ATM machine. It could be a little thrift store, whatever it is. And then above it, 
there's a big building and that's usually like a high rise and there's a bunch of windows and maybe they're apartments, maybe it's office buildings. Uh, we can have some fun with that. But with this building in particular, I want to have like the lower storefronts down here. And then I want to have a big uh, building in the back, maybe one or two. And then the biggest building is going to be producing cactus. Now, <laughs> I don't really need uh, like cactus excel itself. And I need a little bit of the green dye. I feel like that's always going to be nice to have. But I mostly want to use this cactus building to make bone meal. It'll just be like our passive income for bone meal because we have no way of getting bone meal right now. I don't really have like a bone farm or anything. So our plan is to make a bunch of cactus. It's all going to fall down and funnel and process and everything. And then it'll all convert into bone meal. We'll have like a little bit of it saved off to the side to make green dye and like save a little bit for cactus as well if we ever want to use it for building. So I think it's time we just jump right into it and hop into a time lapse. I'm very excited for this build. And I hope you guys are too for the final product. And here it is. Oh my God. I think it looks so good. I love how this looks. This little corner, like corner uh, building is going to be like our thrift and pawn store. Uh, just like, you know, for, for lore reasons, I guess. But I love these neon signs. It's very like cyberpunky and like very modern feeling. And then uh, I ran out of glowing sacks over here, but we'll have to figure that out another time. Then on the inside, on the corner here, we have some like display stands. Kind of just like showing off some armor, but, uh, you know, eventually we'll fill up the inside with some more uh, decorations. But for now, we got a bunch of cactus. I already got a good amount just from detailing. And then we also have the upper apartment building here with like our AC units and some little like tiny details. Like there's so many, so many little tiny tidbits that I tried throwing in here that I think really brings this together. Like we got this little like generator thing right here with like a power line. Connecting up to our vent shaft for our AC units right there. Then we got little like, oh, we got like little shelves right here. Sorry, I'm getting attacked. Oh, okay. Can I sleep? We also have my a beautiful shulker monster here with all my shulker boxes all placed out all over the place. I need to go back to the end. I need more shulkers. I hate using all these like a million, like, like this yellow box is not supposed to have all this junk in there. It's supposed to be sitting in there all, all looking pretty. <laughs> And same with like these chests. I wish I had like shulkers for them instead, but you know, it's, it's whatever. There is something I want to ask you guys though. So down here on the street level, we have our sidewalks and I kind of did this, this tough outline with the, uh, the chiseled tough blocks or tough bricks, sorry. But, uh, yeah, the side texture looks awesome, but the top texture has like this same, like a kind of like a square indent, uh, kind of looks like cement or like sidewalk, uh, sections, you know, but there's also smooth bricks which i think really look like that so i want to ask you guys which do you prefer on the left or the right do you guys like the straight like sidewalk concrete classic smooth stand uh smooth stone or do you like the smooth stone and the chiseled tough bricks i can't quite put my finger on it i'm leaning towards this one a little bit but also this one i think is really cool because it kind of highlights the uh, like the curb of the street but let me know what you guys think because I'm indecisive. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Hope you had a great time watching. We made some good progress today. You know, we started our little forest right here. We made a nice little pretty pond. We made our pads. And of course, we made our first building in our cyberpunk city. And of course, if you're new here and you enjoyed the video today, make sure to get subscribed. And don't forget that we will be streaming a little bit after this video goes up on Sunday, May 26th, 2024. We will be launching our members only Minecraft server. So I'm very excited for that. And if you guys want to hang out and chat with me and do all that shenanigans, then make sure to hop in the stream. All right, that's about it. Thanks for so much for watching. Bye.